Bus to the corner. Keeps it well away from the keeper, but not PK. Bus gets. Sharpest mind down there is Isco. Now Marcelo. Oh. PK! Never out of the headlines in the Classico. But it's a negative headline for Gerard PK. Something he never wanted to do. And that is score for Real Madrid. It's good decisive attacking play from Real Madrid. Both teams have had success with getting players into positions around the byline. Of course, no surprise to see Marcelo get into that position. Nice pass from Isco. Just times the pass well. Isco takes it. The touch and places it into the path for Marcelo. He knows if he hits it across in that position in the six-yard box with a bit of power. It's going to cause the defenders all sorts of problems, and that's exactly what happens. <laughs> A pleasure. That would have been a controversial moment. This is Luis Suarez looking for Lionel Messi. Messi tries to go through the legs. Luis Suarez is there. And the referee has a big decision to make as there's a collision between Kayla Navas and Suarez. And the delegation of Real Madrid is falling on the deaf ears of Senor Bengoche. And what his assistant, who's blinded on the far side, tells him. Did Suarez ride that? Was he anticipating it? Well, Suarez gets the first touch. He's anticipating the contact. He's on his way down. And I think there is contact from Kaylon Navas. Navas throws himself full length. Suarez gets the first touch. He does catch his ankle most of it. <laughs> he leaves his leg at the angle where it, if, if Navas is going to touch it, it's going to bring him down. Lionel Messi in the Classico extends his record of scoring in this magical fixture. Messi on the spot. One one. And Messi off the mark for the season. He makes no mistake, does he? It hasn't always been the case with Messi from the penalty spot. He seems to be improving. Much more. Joins him. Brilliant tackle from Danny Cabaha. Here's Hisco. Has Cristiano Ronaldo still got the legs? Yes, look at him fly. Moves inside Ronaldo! <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo! He's in good shape. That's typical, absolutely brilliant. Turning defence into attack, Real Madrid in the blink of an eye. And you wondered whether Ronaldo still had the pace to get away from Gerard Piquet. He did. And he's just waiting. <laughs> you know exactly what he's going to do. Takes the touch. Here we see Barcelona in the attack. Rakitic misses the chance to take on the shot. And immediately Real Madrid break. Ronaldo into his goal, return pass. And from here, it's a clear sight and goal for Ronaldo, is it? Cuts inside on his right foot. The power, the accuracy, right into the top corner. To Stegen at full length. What did you say, three days, four days training? He certainly doesn't need any work on his finishing. <laughs> in 30 minutes he was given tonight by Zidane. Ten minutes longer than against Manchester United. And it hasn't taken him long to get on the sheet. We're still getting in shape for the season. He's only gets. How about Antiti? Messi steps over. Suarez tries to go through Carvajal. Dogged defending by Vasquez. Vasquez has support from Asensio. I mean, not quite the dynamic run of Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, but he gets the finish of Ronaldo! Well, last season, a star was born in Asensio, and this young man is something special. A Classico goal for Marco Asensio.
only 21 years of age. Take a note of that name, you're going to hear a lot of it in the next decade or so. He's almost demanding now that Zidane includes him in the starting 11, he is that good. 21 years of age, getting better and better. And at this moment in time, you, he, he deserves to be up amongst the elite. He's not a youngster looking to get minutes and play here and there. He has the quality, the ability to be truly world-class. It's a fantastic strike. It's a very similar run and a very similar finish, OK, with the other foot, to Cristiano Ronaldo. Again, he's a bright player. He pulls off, peels up into the space. He knows the